All right, let me paint you a picture. For the past seven years, you've worked day and night on your film and photography career, generating thousands of gigabytes of precious photos, videos, and memories. All of these files were stored on exactly one hard drive. No backups, no cloud storage, just one gigantic idiot. Me. This is the story of the day my hard drive died. Do you hear that? That is my hard drive. It's not doing anything special. It's not copying thousands of files or mining for Bitcoin. It's just sitting there, turned on. For the past seven years or so, this hard drive has been my not so silent partner in all of my creative projects. It was with me when I made my first video. It was with me when I went to middle school. And then it was with me when I went to high school. And then it was with me when I went to film school. And then it was with me when I went to business school. You, you get it, okay? We've had a long, long relationship. And for the most part, drama free. It holds every single one of my photos, video projects, and memories since 2014. Well, that was true until yesterday when I plugged it in, out of nowhere, this message popped up. After seven years of working perfectly fine, my hard drive was corrupted. I'm like, I'm like getting stressed just thinking about it. That sucked when I saw that. Now, normally that would be totally fine. You just format the device, hopefully fix any corruption issues and then restore all of your files from your backup. Except, and I think you know where this is going, I never made a proper backup. <sighs> I know some of you are probably screaming at me right now. At this point right now as filming this, all my files are gone. I essentially just lost eight terabytes Shit. of my life's work up until this point. In order to curb the sinking feeling that I may never see my footage again, I began looking up fixes for a corrupted hard drive. And to be honest, I didn't really like what I found. If you want to try and save your files, there's pretty much one thing you can try. Running check disk in the Windows command. Basically what it does is scan through your hard drive and locate any bad sectors, and then hopefully it can fix it and recover your files. But there's no guarantee that it will work, and in some cases I've heard it can leave your hard drive worse off than before. And to top it all off, for a hard drive my size, it can take days to complete. <sighs> okay, this is it. I've got it typed into Windows Command Prompt. Oh, I'm nervous, my heart is, my heart's going, okay. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh, it's going so fast. Look at this. Whew. Okay, I don't know if that's a good thing or not. It is going ridiculously fast and everything says fixing inf incorrect information in. I don't know, this is making me nervous. Uh, I'm gonna keep an eye on it and I will check back in later. There's no way. There's no way, are you serious? Uh, okay, well, remember when I said it was gonna take about a week? It took a total of four minutes. It's done. And it looks like it fixed it. Oh my, there's no way. Well, that did not go how I expected at all. First, it took four minutes, not four days. And second, I'm still missing 90% of my files. Oh no, oh no. I knew it was too good to be true. There is about six to seven terabytes of files missing. I didn't realize because the file structures are all in place here. But when I go into my main videography folder, it's empty. Something obviously went wrong with check disk. My hard drive's functional now, so it actually connects to my computer but it seems to be hiding most of my files. Hope is not all lost. All hope is not lost. Hope is still there. <laughs> Apparently, if I run a file recovery program now, it should, 
and emphasis on the should, be able to recover the rest of my files, it could just take a long time. After hours of watching my laptop slowly overheat from working so hard, I suddenly had a realization. There may actually be a backup. You see, over the past five or so years, I've been working on a YouTube channel with my friends Steven and Mitch called TMS Productions. About a year ago, they upgraded their storage system to this absolute monster of a setup and asked me if I wanted to back up any of my footage onto it. And I'm pretty sure I might have potentially backed up at least some of the hard drive. Welcome to the neighborhood. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Alrighty, so we are at Stephen and Mitchell's house. Stephen here is going to take us through the NAS and let's hope at least some of my stuff is on here. Do you remember, right. when was it that we backed it up? Do you remember? Uh, this was latest, I think it was like October. Okay. So October of 2020. Should have a good chunk of it. Ooh. Yeah, okay. So we have 2017 Norway. That's oh, what you Oh, went. that's good. Let's see if it's all in. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. We have all the footage from your Norway. Oh, my gosh. What other years do you want to check? 2016, maybe? 2016. Okay. Yes. Oh, my God. Lines. Oh, These my God. All early TMS. And there's actual files. <laughs> I think so. Good. And then what's the earliest you have? Earliest I have. We don't have 2014. There's nothing from 2014 for some okay. reason. Okay, wow. And then obviously, you'd have all of this stuff after, uh, you know, any TMS related stuff, you guys would have that anyway. Oh yeah, so we have 2016, 17, 18, 19, 2020. Where I'm missing photos from 2014, 2015, and I'm missing videos from 2014. But other than that, it looks like we got absolutely everything else. Steven, you're a lifesaver. Oh yes. I, I'm working on shake hands. Shake I'm working on shake hands. <laughs> Thank you, sir. See you later. You guys do not know how relieved I am right now. It looks like Steven and Mitch have the majority of my photos and videos from I think like 2016 until now. But I'm still missing most of my files from 2014 to 2015. Those are the first years that I got into film and photography. And although I have a few of the finished videos that I posted online, it would be great to have the raw footage and photos too. At this point, my only hope is the file recovery software that's been running all day. I cannot catch a break with this stupid hard drive. I just let a recovery software program run all day for like 16 hours. And as soon as it finished, an error message popped up saying that I needed an additional 15 terabytes of space, which I obviously do not have right now. I either need to buy a new hard drive that's over 15 terabytes or find a hard drive that's over 15 terabytes. But for now, that means I can't recover any of the files yet. And I just kind of need to leave this laptop here until I figure something out. Well, at least for now, I don't know if I can get those files back. Ah! Maybe they can be recovered, maybe they can't. But in a way, it kind of feels like part of my life has been deleted. In the end, it doesn't really matter if I never get to see those files again. Yes, it would be nice to go back and look at all those old photos and videos from time to time, but if those physical files are gone forever, it doesn't mean those memories never happened. They're still a part of me and make up a big part of who I am today. Now, this can go into a much larger discussion about not letting your creative work or your creative output define you, but we'll save that for another day. Wow, this has been a journey from finding out my hard drive was corrupted to running check disk and then finding out check disk didn't work. Oh no. To remembering that I had a secret backup. Welcome to the neighborhood. Thank you, sir. <laughs> and then finally running a recovery software program only to find out I didn't have enough storage space for the recovered files. Now, you may be wondering, did I learn anything from this whole fiasco? And you'll be happy to hear, I did. I'm totally overhauling my storage setup now. I bought two Western Digital 12 terabyte hard drives with one acting as a redundant backup of the other. And I also bought a subscription to a cloud storage backup service. So now if one of my hard drives corrupts, I have a backup ready to go. And if both of them get taken out in a flood or a fire or something, all of the files are safely up in the cloud. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope what happened to me never happens to you and you don't procrastinate on your file storage system because 
I put it off for, you know, five, six, seven years. Don't do that. If you like what I do on YouTube and want to check out some of my photography and other work, you can go ahead and follow me on Instagram at Tommy DeWitt underscore. And I just created a TikTok account, which you can follow me at Tommy DeWitt. All of the links will be in the description below. And finally, if you're enjoying what I do here on YouTube, if you could consider subscribing, it really, really helps me out. That's it. I'll see you guys in two weeks.